Welcome to the channel. Today we are updating a video I created last year for the installation of the Arlo integration, which will bring you all your Arlo cameras into Home Assistant. In a time when manufacturers are removing RTSP support for battery powered cameras due to their concerns over battery life, it's amazing that Arlo, one of the most closed ecosystems for cameras, is now able to stream directly into Home Assistant. So a huge thanks to Steve Herrell, aka t rect for his work in building this Hacks integration. Now if you follow through the previous video for the Arlo integration into Home Assistant, then everything should still work. But if you're having issues, then I suggest completely removing the Arlo integration and the Hacks components, commenting out the configuration that you entered into the configuration.yaml file and starting afresh by following this guide. Now there are a few prerequisites to be able to install the Arlo integration. First, you're going to need a Gmail account that has two-step authentication enabled. As we'll only be using this for access into your Arlo cameras by Home Assistant, so that it doesn't fight for access with your account that you use on your phone to view your camera feeds. I'd recommend creating a new account explicitly for this purpose. You'll also need a Home Assistant instance that is able to have hacks installed. Check the video in the pop-up above for how to install hacks in just a few clicks. Now that we have our prerequisites confirmed, let's set up the Gmail account. Open a browser and navigate to www.google.com. I'll assume that you have already logged out of your Gmail account. Press sign in in the top right hand corner. As we are creating a new Gmail account, do not select your usual Gmail account. Instead, select Use another account. Now press Create Account. Select that you're using this for personal use. Enter your first name and last name and press Next. Enter your date of birth and gender and press Next. Choose your Gmail address or create your own and press Next. Enter a password and press Next. Enter your mobile phone number to receive a verification code and press Next. Optionally, enter a recovery email address and press Next. Review your account information and press Next. Review the privacy and terms and press I agree. You should now be logged into your new Gmail account that we'll be using with the Arlo integration. Press the account icon, which is the circle in the top right hand corner. Press manage your Google account. Now let's turn on two step verification that is needed for Arlo to be able to take advantage of the Arlo integration and is also highly recommended. We don't want your password getting out onto the dark web. In the search bar at the top, type two-step verification and select. Press turn on for two-step verification. Confirm by pressing turn on two-step verification again. Once completed, press done. Now press the back arrow in the top left hand corner. Now in the search bar at the top of the screen, type app passwords and select the top option. Google will now show you all the app passwords that have been created for this account. If this is a new account, this will be empty. This might be a good time to explain what an app password is. An app password is a Google supplied password that will allow access into the account but does not require your actual Google password, hence making it more secure. It's a great idea for security and is highly advisable so that you don't expose your Google password. Enter a name for your app password, such as Arlo integration and press create. Google will open up a new window and show you the app password that's 12 characters long. Make a note of this and copy it somewhere safe, as once you clear this screen, you cannot view this code again. And that's all we need to do for the Gmail account. Now, since we are going to be giving access to our new email account to access our Arlo cameras, we're going to need a new email account that have an Arlo account connected to this email account. Navigate to my.arlo.com. Press create account. Enter your details, making sure that the email account used is the same as the Gmail account we just created. Now the password does not need to be the same as the Gmail account, but select something that's secure as this will still have access to your camera feeds and make a note of it. Optionally untick, keep me up to date on the latest news, but make sure you select, I understand and agree the terms of service. Now press continue. An email verification will be sent to your new Gmail account. Press verify email. You'll be greeted with a congratulations screen. 
Now we have an Arlo account that uses the new Gmail email address. We can give access to this new Arlo account to view our cameras. To do this, we'll use the Arlo app on your phone. Now we have our Gmail account and an associated Arlo account that we'll be using in the Arlo integration. We need to be able to give this Arlo account access to the cameras. We'll be doing this within the Arlo app on your phone. Open the Arlo app on your phone. Press the settings icon in the top left hand corner. Select people. Now press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Enter the first name and last name. As this is specific to Home Assistant, I entered home for the first name and assistant for the last name. Enter the email address that you just created. Select all the cameras you wish to have access to in Home Assistant. Select all access rights. Press send invite. Your access will show as pending in the Arlo app. An email will be sent to the new Gmail account you created. Press get started in the email and log in. You should now be able to see your cameras viewed from the alternative Arlo account. Now we need to go into Home Assistant and configure the Arlo integration in Hacks. There are two parts to the Arlo integration. The first from Hacks and the corresponding integration. As per the prerequisites, I'll assume that you have Hacks already installed. As the Arlo integration is part of the Hacks default store, there is no need for custom repositories, so it's super simple to install. Navigate to Hacks on the left hand menu. Search for and select Arlo Camera Support. Press the blue download button in the bottom right hand corner. Hacks will confirm the download directory. Press download. To confirm the download, refresh the screen and the blue download button in the bottom right hand corner should have disappeared. You'll now need to restart Home Assistant to make the Hacks integration available. Navigate to Developer Tools. Press check your configuration. Make sure you see the green writing confirming that the configuration will not prevent Home Assistant from restarting. Press Restart. Confirm with Restart Home Assistant. And confirm again with Restart. Once Home Assistant comes back, we'll need to add the corresponding Arlo integration. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the blue Add Integration button in the bottom right hand corner. Search for and select Arlo Camera Support. You'll be presented with an Arlo Login Details window, which is where we need to enter our details. This is where we depart from the 2023 Arlo integration video. Instead of having to add these details into the configuration.yaml file, we can now enter these details into this window and the integration will store these into the Arlo configuration file. The first field is the username, which is the email account that we just created. The second field is the password that you use to access the email account. The third field is the mechanism used for the two-factor authentication or two-step verification as Google calls it, and this should be set to IMAP. The fourth field is the two-factor authentication or TFA as it is known username, which again is the email account we just created for the use with the Arlo integration. The fifth field is the app specific password that we created and copied to somewhere safe. Copied this here, including the spaces. Remember this is not the password that we use to log into the email account and must be the app specific password. The TFA host should be imap.gmail.com for use with Gmail account authentication. The final tick box relates to how the devices will be formatted in Home Assistant. By ticking this box, all device entities will be formatted for type.arlo underscore, followed by the specifics of the device referenced. I'd recommend leaving this ticked. Now press submit and sit back and watch the magic happen. If everything works successfully, the Arlo integration should bring back all your devices that were shared with the account. Optionally give your devices areas and press finish. Now let's look at a sample of the entities returned. Search for and select Arlo camera support. Select the devices hyperlink. Select one of your cameras. You can now see all the entities available, including the ability to take snapshots and the live camera feeds. Optionally, we can review and tune the integration. Press the X in the top left hand corner. Press the back arrow in the top left hand corner twice. Press configuration. Here you can set the items such as the arm and disarm codes, the definitions of home and away, trigger times and volumes. Personally, I left these all as default. Press submit. 
Next, you can select which binary sensors you wish to be available for each device. Some of these are not relevant for my devices, such as leak detection, but I left all enabled. Press Submit. You can do likewise for sensors that will be stored against each device. Again, some of these are not relevant for my devices, such as air quality, but I left the defaults without any issues. Press Submit. And finally, you get to set switches for your devices. I left all these as default, but I'll put a link in the description to the documentation to allow you to make informed decisions as to if you should change these or not. Press Submit. The ILO integration will report that all options have been successfully saved. Press Finish. The values we have just set here replace all the YAML code that you entered into the configuration.yaml file. If you would still like to see this code, it is all stored in arlo.yaml file in the custom components folder. Now let's add a camera feed to a dashboard. As this video is already a long one, I have already created a sample dashboard using the section view, more commonly known as the drag and drop view. Navigate to your dashboard. Press the pencil icon in the top right hand corner. Press the boxed plus icon in the center of the dotted square this will create a new section. Press the plus icon in the section that you've just created. Search for and select Picture Glance. Change the name of the title to describe the camera view. Optionally, either upload a static picture for the view or map this to a picture you wish to use. I'll leave this as is, as I want to display the live camera view when the dashboard is opened. Use the drop down for the camera entity. Select your Arlo camera feed you wish to display. For the camera view, select Live, so the camera feed becomes available immediately upon opening the dashboard. Press Save. Now press Done. You should now be able to see your live camera feed displayed. You can repeat the same process to add the remainder of your cameras. And we're done. Now this has been a long video to just get the cameras up and running using the new Arlo integration, but I think you'll agree it's been worth it. I have a multitude of battery powered security cameras, some of which are solar and others that just run on battery alone. My Arlo cameras were scheduled to be replaced with newer, higher resolution and feature rich solar powered battery cameras. But as of yet, I have not found another camera that offers this live feed inside of Home Assistant. If you know of one, then please let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. These longer form factor videos do take some time to put together. So if it helped you get your Arlo cameras into Home Assistant, then maybe consider a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. And while you're there, hit the like, subscribe, and maybe share with others so that they can get their Arlo cameras integrated also. Until the next one, let's all hope for sunny days and full batteries.